Kelsey Kerr is from the small country town of Heiko, Texas. She recently competed in the Mustang Million competition with her Mustang, Drifter. Today I stopped by Smoothwater Ranch to visit the freestyle winning duo to learn more about their journey together. So where did Drifter come from? Drifter was captured in Adobe Town, Wyoming. Uh, we adopted him in Fort Worth. They have a big auction for the Mustang Million. Uh, that was back in May, I believe. And that's where we got him from. So Drifter was captured, and that's how the Mustangs come into the Mustang yes. Million competition. They're completely wild, no human contact. When we go to that auction, they are scared to death of people. They they don't want too much to do with people. So, and you've never done this before. No. You've been around horses, your dad has done this before, but you, as far as training a Mustang or working with them, you haven't done this yourself. Oh, no. Five months ago, I didn't even know how to put a saddle on. <laughs> well, um, and so, if he terrified of people, how did you, I'm sure there was a lot of trust gained there. Oh, yeah. Um, it's kind of funny. Me and my mom started him. Most people think my dad started him. Well, you would imagine <laughs> so, since he is the horse trainer, but... My dad adopted four horses, and one of them was purple, and then one of them he, did, them he didn't want, and that was him, because their personalities clashed. He has quite the attitude. So me and my mom started him, and it took us about a month of groundwork, loving on him. He loves to be loved on. And... Uh, put the saddle on him for the first time about a month later, which my dad did all that in one or two days of his Mustang. So you invested a month of your time just hoping that you'd put the saddle on him. Oh, yeah. And your dad was telling you that he wasn't going to... He said, I mean, he was encouraging, but at that time, my dad didn't want too much to do with him. He... He does have an attitude. He still has an attitude, but we're buddies now, so yeah. we kind of work with each other. So when you do this competition, how long do you have to, to train them? It's about 120 days. Um, normally it is 120 days to the day, but the auctions were set up a little bit different this time, so it was about 120 to 130 days. That's still not much time to go from a wild Mustang to being in an arena competing oh, no. and doing all kinds of tricks and no. freestyle acts that you do. It's not a lot of time for him. It's not a lot of time for me. Either. No, no it's not. And so, okay, so a month in you got the saddle on him. Mm -hmm. But then the things that you, you've done with Drifter, standing on him, cracking a bowl whip, jumping over bridges, how did you get into that? How did, where did that come in? Well, that, that would take a lot of... The, somebody had told me I needed to crack the bull whip on him. Be like Man from Snowy River, which is an old western movie. Okay, yeah. It's like, you know what, that's a good idea. I spent forever, weeks, just on the ground trying to crack that bullet. Hitting myself, getting marks on my face. <laughs> well, that had to be frustrating. <laughs> and then uh, I was riding him around one day. Actually, even before I cracked the bullet, I was riding him around and he seemed real calm. My parents were working on horses, so they weren't even paying attention. I said, like, you know what, I'm going to stand up. I stood on him and he was just fine and from there it went to cracking the bull whip. So everything kind of developed as you went. Yeah. You, you gained that trust with each other and you could just tell that it was going to be okay. He is very affectionate. He is, he is. Um, yeah, and then the bridge we kind of threw in there towards the end, which was really scary for me. I was scared I to, to death to jump on that bridge and we started off with like compacted dirt so it wasn't as high of a jump. And then once we got going with that, and how we did it was we would work him a lot in the arena, work him outside, then get him to jump on the bridge, and that was his resting area. So he got to where he really liked the bridge, because that was his time off. So even though it seemed like that would have been like a difficult moment to get to, that was actually a favorite spot for him exactly. to, to relax. Okay, I see, I see. Well, so at, were there times during this 120 day period where you just thought it was too much or you didn't really oh, yeah. think you wanted to do it anymore, it wasn't worth it? Because there had to have been frustrating moments along the there way. There were times, I, you got to understand, I've never done this before and there's so much more to it, lead changes, morphing. I've never even left the house before. Um, Lead changes are really hard for me to get. And my dad, he's pretty nice, he's pretty patient, but the way he works is um, 
Dude, you got a lot of animals out here, Kelsey. Out, out here at the Curse Place, we've got horses, dogs, cats, chickens, and some geese just came to visit. And I think they want to be in the show. Can we chase them off? Yeah, we, we might want to chase them off real quick. Can you hold on to them? Yeah, I got him. Go on. Go on. Go, 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 go. <laughs> well, it didn't take much uh, much convincing. They may come back. I'll, maybe Probably. I'll chase them the next time. I'm afraid they might turn around and chase me back, though. Yeah. So really you've, cool. you've never done anything because I have. Um, I, I got them. Go on. So. Go. There were, there were a lot of moments with Drifter that you just, I'm sure it was just exhausting. And like you said, you've never done this before. Yeah, there were times where I'd just break down in tears. And I mean, it wasn't just crying because I was frustrated. I mean, that had a lot to do with it. But it was also just my past and getting to this point. So it was quite the emotional journey. And there were times I just wanted to quit because I didn't think I'd be able to do it. I didn't think he would be able to do it. Not sure of it at time. But at the same time, usually the same day that I'd cry, a few minutes later. There would be a breakthrough. <laughs> yeah. A breakdown break to breakthrough. Exactly. Yeah. And then it'd be like, man, this is so awesome. I can't get, I can't wait to get out and do it again. Right. Well, so that, when, when you have moments like that, and like you say, like, you know, thinking about your past and creating something completely new for yourself and to be so passionate about something and to love an animal, for sure, I could imagine that that just brought out a lot of emotion. Oh, yeah, and one of the big things about this is having a good connection with your horse, with your Mustang, and we didn't really connect until towards the end. We had quite the moment where we connected. That, and that was the moment that you knew. Yeah, I knew we were going to do this and we were going to fight through all the sweat, blood, and tears. Yeah, and he did and he fought hard. So then the big day came and you and Drifter headed off to the Mustang Million and how, how did that go? Well, the first day was really nerve-wracking because he did not like it at all. Well, because he's used to being out here yes. in his own space and then to be somewhere new. There were so many Mustangs there and so many people and yearlings and kids running around. And he was in the stall. I called it the horse prison because, oh. it, you know, he's not used to it. They're closed in. He couldn't see his friends. Oh, no, Drifter. He was really anxious. Um, but by the second day, you could see him start calming down. By the third day, he was really good. I didn't even have to show until the fourth day, so it was it was quite the blessing to have that much time to get him used to it. And then, so you did the, the freestyle competition. Yeah, I did three different classes. Um, the freestyle was the first one. That was the one we have been working really hard for. That's the one with the act, the bridge, and the teeter-totter. That was the first day. I I was so nervous. <laughs> I could imagine. I'm a nervous person anyway, but <laughs> my main deal is they get funny with changing locations and the atmosphere. He's been on that bridge millions of times, and the day before that, we jumped him on the bridge, and the first time, he didn't want to go up there, oh. so that made me nervous. Right. Like, then I jumped up there, and the bridge, one of the suspension cables kind of collapsed, so it caused the bridge to shift. <laughs> Oh God! And that was really scary that for me. He didn't scary. care. He just stood there like lopsided, and he was fine. <laughs> but I was really nervous. So the next day, I was like, "Oh my gosh, there's no I You have no idea what's gonna happen out there." No. But, wow, that is scary. I mean, is that's the moment too? Mm -hmm. That's what you've been working towards, yeah. and then you're in that arena. But you know, as soon as we. As soon as they called my name and that music started playing, the song that I chose for him, I named him after the song. And I pretty much sing the song to him every day. So he knows his song. Exactly. That's his anthem. And as soon as that song came on and we rode out there, it was like everyone in the crowd was gone. It was just me and him out oh, there doing cool. what we do to the music. And so you, you won a buckle. I did. What, and what? And so what round, you said you did three different... Yeah, I did um, the freestyle, and then the pattern, and trail class. Okay. Um, 
Now it's funny with the freestyle deal because I was on Facebook late that night and me and my family were so tired, we're pretty much delirious by this point. It's a long week and somebody had posted the scores for a freestyle class and I wasn't in the top five. And I told my mom, I was like, well, I didn't make it to the top five, but we still did good. You still I'm did still it. proud of yeah. them. And that nobody could believe that I didn't make it into the top five. And I went to bed. I'm like, oh, well, whatever. We did it. Yeah. You, know? you were there. Yeah. It happened. Well, the next day I looked, and it turned out that the freestyle class they had posted was for the non-writing class. Oh. And I'm in the writing class. Okay. And me and my brother went and looked at the... They posted the scores and everything, and my name was in first. My brother oh. picked me up, swung me in his arms. Oh, that's so great! My dad was so proud of me. It and your so and your brother Cody had come all the way from Australia yeah. to be a part of this because yeah. it's it's really a family act that y'all that y'all do this together. That your dad has been doing it for years yes. now, and then you got to do it. And so that moment, it was. It to see amazing. that your name in first place and to have your brother there, I'm sure that was pretty amazing. It was, it really was. And then we did the pattern class the next day, which I I wanted to do good in it. I really did, but that I'm not too experienced with all that stuff. And I ended up doing pretty good. I was proud of myself, but I forgot a maneuver. I was, <laughs> everyone kept on telling me before I went out there, do not forget to back up. Do not forget to back up. And it's one of the first things you have to do. I forget to back up. But we did good and the experience was right. good. It was fun. The trail class I did really good in. Um, I kind of messed up throwing one of the ropes down, but we did really good. I have no idea where I placed because I never post the scores. Oh. Um, but we'll find out how we did. Uh, I don't know. I know I didn't make the top five, but I don't know. Well, that's good. well, I mean, yeah, and how well you did, obviously, in the freestyle competition. I wouldn't doubt it that you and Drifter did well. Yeah, and I've told so many people this. We've won so many times in this journey. The first time we put the saddle on, we won. The first right. time we laid down, we won. So. It, it was good. So it's just, I mean, so winning in the freestyle, I'm sure that was a very rewarding moment, but that was just another win for yeah. you guys. Because it, it is in the in the journey. It's not that that wasn't just your, your only moment with him because, you know, typically a lot of these Mustangs, they get sold or adopted afterwards. Yeah, this one, um, for the Mustang Million, they don't, a lot of them they'll have auctions right after that and you're supposed to get rid of them. This one you don't have to. You have the choice of keeping them. But yes, a lot of people do sell theirs. And I've had people ask me to sell Drifter. It's Just not can't do happen, it. No. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it to him and I don't I couldn't do it to myself. So now that you've you've been through your first Mustang million, you've you and Drifter have obviously proved to each other and to yourselves that what what you're capable of doing, that you can do it, and that it was an amazing experience. What does the future hold? You know, I, I'm not quite sure yet. I would like to start doing acts with my dad, but we need to find what our niche is. I don't know if it's going to be cow sorting or whatever it is. There's a lot riding. of options There's there. There's a lot of options, and I think we're just going to play with it, go to different clinics, figure out what he's good at, and figure out what I enjoy doing. So you would say that Mustang Million kind of set the bar, laid that foundation for a new journey, a new chapter yep. with Kelsey and Drifter. Yeah, there's no telling where we're going to go now. Well, we sure look forward to finding out, and uh, it has been great hearing about your journey and your experience. And Drifter, we thank you for being here today, too. <laughs> He's like, are we done yet? <laughs> <laughs> well, Kelsey, it has been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for being here Thank today you. and allowing us allowing us to come and visit with you and Drifter. <laughs> Life Fives is a product of Texan News Service. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time, keep the good vibes rolling. <laughs>